What's up, DYI Dad here. Going to show you something pretty simple, but I don't want to take for granted that everybody out there knows because everyone doesn't know. So today we're going to do a little caulking around the house. It's in the middle of winter. Uh, when things get cold, they shrink up and you start seeing all your little seams around your baseboards and maybe around your windows or your uh, lots of places where caulking could dry up, dry up and starts cracking. So I'm going through and I'm going to do some caulking today and I need four things to make that happen. I'm going to show you one caulk and there's a bunch of different kinds of caulk mainly you want to watch for when you're working around your house for paintable versus non-paintable just kind of depends on what you're working for i'm working on inside trim so i went with a paintable version of caulk so that if we got to paint over it in the future we can need a little knife uh, a little sharp knife doesn't matter what kind of knife it is this one and we're going to cut the tip off of that and i'll show you here in a minute and then a caulk gun which this is from walmart i mean nothing fancy you can spend up to i don't know 15 bucks on a caulk gun i think this thing was two dollars and it works just the same way and the number four is a trusty rag you're always going to need a rag so i'm going to show you right here tube of caulk we're going to cut the end of that guy off because that is what we start with and you want to cut that thing at an angle and there's a reason i'll show you why but we're going to just pop that off at an angle and you can see i've cut that at an angle so when we go through and we are doing our caulking we can have it uh, at a certain way and it goes on a certain way um, this little guy on the bottom of your caulk gun is for a certain specific reason when you caulk when you cut that caulk you're going to pop that down in there and try not to make your camera fall when you do it which is going to bust the seal you can see that on your caulk boom now we're going to load this in here push and wipe this off boom and we're ready to start caulking which i'm going to show you here in just a second all right so i'm going to start with a really simple you can see here um this is it's the middle of winter again it's dried out you can see how this seam has really come apart one of the reasons why you cut this at an angle is when we go to caulk and remember i've got my trusty rag here we're going to run that right down with an angle and a good general rule with caulking is less is more because you can always go back okay so i'm going to show you i won't do this whole thing for the purpose of the video but i will show you a little pressure on the trigger and we're just going to come right down and you can see that caulk coming out and we'll just keep a steady hand don't worry if you get too much or too little in certain zones because we're going to go back on that and i'll just stop there for now but i'm going to show you we'll come back a little bit of secret here is a wet finger will smooth this out. Now you can get some water and be fancy with it, or you can just lick your finger and come right down this and we'll smooth that right on out. Boom. And that will give you a nice, good, even fill. And I'll do the rest of it in, but that's the basics, the simplicity of how to caulk. couple final thoughts for you on caulking in general. There's really three main types of caulks. I said two earlier, but really for most of us DIYs around the house, it's going to be two. You got latex or you got silicone and you're going to find that most of the time you're working with latex so you can paint over it unless you're dealing with like um, bathtub surroundings or maybe around your toilet you're dealing with the silicone or outside on the exterior of your house you're going to be dealing with silicone um, most often because you want that good and sealed up in a it lasts longer it's got a little more flexibility to it so most of the time in the house you're using some type of a latex and that's why the old finger whoosh, works really good works fine on silicone too but the other tip i wanted to give was um, while i do keep a rag while i'm going around and doing a lot of caulking i also keep a wet rag because sometimes that's more handy than your finger um, or if you get a little too much on there a wet rag will wipe it right up or you can clean it up So don't be afraid like generally speaking less is more when you're working with caulk because uh, you can always go back and add more But don't be afraid to get too much on there because you can take that wet rag Especially with the latex and just come right down and keep wiping it clean until you need to So instead of a dry cloth like I was using today a wet rag would be very handy for going Especially like on tile. It's very handy on tile going around and cleaning up and making a good smooth tight edge So hopefully that helps Pretty basic. Caulking's not hard. Just get out there, practice it, try it. You'll figure it out because you can do it yourself.